Hello friends, we're going to be jumping into the book titled Song of Songs or Song of Solomon. It is a love story between a bridegroom and the bride. It will be discussing some of the most intimate topics in the Bible, but God sees love and intimacy, sex, as a gift from God, something that should be enjoyed between a husband and his wife. So grab your Bibles if you want to follow along. We'll be starting with chapter one of Song of Songs. This is Solomon's Song of Songs, more wonderful than any other. Kiss me and kiss me again, for your love is sweeter than wine. How pleasing is your fragrance. Your name is like the spreading fragrance of scented oils. No wonder all the young women love you. Take me with you, come, let's run. The king has brought me into his bedroom. How happy we are for you, O king. We praise your love even more than wine, young woman. How right they are to adore you. I am dark but beautiful. O oh, women of Jerusalem, dark as the tents of Kedar, dark as the curtains of Solomon's tents. Don't stare at me because I am dark. The sun has darkened my skin. My brothers were angry with me. They forced me to care for their vineyards. So I couldn't care for myself, my own vineyard. Tell me, my love, where are you leading your flocks today? Where will you rest your sheep at noon? For why should I wander like a prostitute among your friends and their flocks? Young man. If you don't know, O most beautiful woman, follow the trail of my flock and graze your young goats by the shepherd's tents. You are as exciting, my darling, as a mare among Pharaoh's stallions. How lovely are your cheeks, your earrings set them afire. How lovely is your neck. Enhanced by a string of jewels, we will make for your earrings of gold and beads of silver, young woman. The king is lying on his couch, enchanted by the fragrance of my perfume. My lover is like a sachet of myrrh, lying between my breasts. He is like a bouquet of sweet henna blossoms from the vineyard of En Gedi. Young man, how beautiful you are, my darling, how beautiful. Your eyes are like doves. Young woman, you are so handsome, my love. Pleasing beyond words, the soft grass is our bed. Fragrant cedar branches are the beams of our house, and pleasant smelling firs are the rafters. Chapter 2. Young woman, I am the spring crocus blooming on the Sharon plain, the lily of the valley. And the man, like a lily among thistles, is my darling among young women. The woman, like the finest apple tree in the orchard, is my lover among other young men. I sit in his delightful shade and taste his delicious fruit. He escorts me to the banquet hall. It's obvious how much he loves me. It's obvious how much he loves me. Strengthen me with raisin cakes. Refresh me with apples. For I am weak with love. His left arm is under my head and his right arm embraces me. Promise me, O woman of Jerusalem, by the gazelles and wild deer, not to awaken love until the time is right. Memories of courtship. Ah, I hear my lover coming. He is leaping over the mountains, bounding over the hills. My lover is like a swift gazelle or a young stag. Look, there he is behind the wall, looking through the window, peering into the room. My lover said to me, Rise up, my darling. Come away with me, my fair one. Look, the winter is past. And the rains are over and gone. The flowers are springing up. The season of singing birds has come. And the cooing of turtle doves fills the air. The fig trees are forming young fruit. And the fragrant grapevines are blossoming. Rise up, my darling. Come away with me, my fair one. Young man, my dove is hiding behind the rocks. Behind an outcrop of the cliff. Let me see your face. Let me hear your voice. For your voice is pleasant and your face is lovely. Young women of Jerusalem, catch all the foxes, those little foxes, before they ruin the vineyard of love. For the grapevines are blossoming, young woman. My lover is mine and I am his. He browses among the lilies. Before the dawn breezes blow and the night shadows flee, return to me, my love, like a gazelle or a young stag on the rugged mountains. And we're going to stop there. We are in Song of Songs. Chapter 3 will begin with a young woman. And I know that this is very interesting to be in the Bible. This particular book of the Bible has faced a lot of criticism because it covers these very deep, intimate, and personal topics. But I think it's incredibly important to remember that God sees love and intimacy as something absolutely precious, done when it's correctly proceeded in the, the honored marriage, done with a husband and his wife. It's a beautiful thing. So um, I hope you're enjoying reading this book with me, and I'm sorry if I'm getting a little flabbergasted, but um, as a woman that loves God, we are to be um, uh, conservative and careful when we discuss topics like these, but this is an important book of the Bible. The entire Bible is valuable to us. So I hope you enjoy reading through this book with me, and we'll see you soon for chapter three. Bye-bye.